So it's about 9 a.m. here, and this morning we, I, I, so far I haven't taken any trades, so sitting tight. Um, we'll watch to see if there's any news right at 9 a.m., but the overall market is gapping up this morning. Um, Goldman Sachs is up. We have, uh, you know, a couple of these, um, some banks that are going to be posting earnings this week. Bank of America posted their kind of uh, initial move was a bit lower, but coming back up a little bit now. So um, let's see. Um, the small cap market is a little bit just a little slow this morning. We've had a couple of stocks pop up, but their floats have been a little higher. You know, ADN is moving up a little bit right now. The floats 34 million shares. It's kind of, um, it's kind of grinding a little bit. Uh, it doesn't feel particularly like a fast moving stock. So, you know, we're just kind of, I don't know. I'm I'm waiting for something that looks like I can trade it and do a little bit better on it. Breakout there was 40. Uh, ILAG is our second leading gapper. This one, as you may recall, traded last week. Uh, you know, I lost a little bit on it. Maybe like, I don't know, $500 or something. I, I traded it a couple times, didn't really open up, so I, I gave up on it. But uh, you can see for sure that this one is just uh, a bit of a wild stock, big range. So your high there is 35, but uh, from a couple days ago, this thing was back at you know 10 bucks and it hit a high of 2640. So it is a dead cat bounce setup, but I'm not sure if that's a trustworthy setup in a bear market. So I lag, maybe QD, leading gapper, too cheap, floats too high. ADN is the third leading gapper right now. Higher volume red candle there. Volume weighted average price is around 330. 200 moving average is around 430. You had news that came out at 709. So, you know, it's it's up a bit, but Nothing super, super exciting yet. So right now, just kind of hanging tight. We've got about 30 minutes to the open. But unless something starts to really open up and move quickly, I, I don't know if I'm going to jump off the sidelines. I just don't really feel that interested in trading choppiness. Check continuation scanner. Already checked ILAG KSPN. You see. Yeah. Pretty hard drop there from at 4 a.m. from 6 down to 4. You know, Friday, it was like, okay, if this thing opens up a little bit more, we might have something we can really work with here, but. QRTEB for the last couple days has popped up uh, at some point kind of early and then pulls back. The high back there was 844. Trigger at 773. 
no volume really right now. RYTM floats too high, easy to borrow, wouldn't expect it to do much in this market. to show me when it comes on later. I I I can tell you I can tell you I can tell the video pit in the in the giant cat like this big. Mm -hmm. Like this big. Mm -hmm. Like so this is a strong one, but you the one. Yeah. And I don't remember anymore and I think that not it of the movie, I think there was more, but this is not a like it. Okay. Don't do that, it's bothering girl. <clears throat> do you want a sandwich? No, thank you, not right now. You can make one for girl. Girl! Leave it alone. Make sure you put your things away so girl doesn't get into them. Girl, out. I think she was looking for that toast. Oh, I can hide this toast. She won't think behind, behind here. She won't think. Viru, cautious comments out. Hmm. You know, the Viru daily chart it's coming up to the double top at 1750. It's been strong, but not really easy to day trade. Volume's too light, not a strong catalyst, just eh. Maybe, yeah.
So about 10 past 9 right now. Here, bring those over here. Not for right now. You gotta put those here. We'll use them outside later. I I just hear me downstairs far away from the house. No, I don't want you to do that right now. We'll do it later. We'll do it later outside. Hey, let's go. No, I just can show you where to go. I'm gonna go up to there. Just, just go away from that wall. I don't want you to go outside right now. You gotta uh, wait. You gotta wait till I'm done. No, I still like to go to the door. I want to try the shoes to go outside because they're nice and cozy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No surprise on UC. None of this is surprising at all. Not surprised. All right, so we've got about 15 minutes to the opening bell. And as we sit here this morning, unfortunately, there isn't anything uh, particularly interesting. You see down 50% there, just selling off. SIGA, kind of like Viru, you know, it's a it's a daily continuation setup. So this one, Viru, very similar charts, but they're not really opening up enough. They're not easy. They're not. There's not enough momentum to day trade it. They pop up, but they they're not really opening up. So got nothing there. Um, so of course it's a. Monday in July and markets uh, just feel kind of slow so far today. I thought maybe it'd be stronger because we have this overall gap in the market, but you know, it just goes to show small caps kind of trade on their own and there's just nothing in particular that I'm interested in uh, at this moment. So as of right now, it's a no trade day, uh, but of course we still have, uh, you know, it's still very early. 
But the best days start strong. The best days, they start strong with good trades pre-market on breaking news. So I can already tell you it's not gonna be one of my best days because it's too late at this point and the opportunities to trade breaking news have come and gone and, and we haven't had anything good. So, you know, I could throw in the towel right here and say, hey, you know what, statistically, this is not gonna be one of my best days given it's a bear market, July, why even risk it? Just come back tomorrow. And that wouldn't be a bad idea. There'd be nothing wrong with doing that. Um, but at the same time, it is still early and uh, it's early in the week. So, you know, if it was a Friday, I probably would just say, all right, whatever, forget it. But it is, it's only Monday, so it's still pretty early in the week. Um, although at the same time, no reason to, uh, you know, dig a hole on, on Monday when we still have the whole rest of the week in front of us. So, yeah, that's kind of my, um, my thoughts at the moment. Nothing that I'm super, super, uh, nothing that I'm really at all interested in, actually. You know, as we said on Friday, a big part of trading is sitting and waiting and being patient. So our set, our leading gapper that's possible would be ILAG. This one if it broke over this pivot here of about 327 then we would have room up to 335 which is you know eight cents it's not even that much but we'd have eight cents and then if we got over 335 then we start to have a bit more room coming back up um but you know look at how this thing got beaten up so badly uh you know a few days ago it just got totally destroyed so this is just a bounce off the low and it already has uh you know it's got quite a bit of volume let's see what was it uh, adn is 12 million shares i lag has seven seven million shares 7.5 so you know there's obviously quite a bit of churn in here with all those shares they're just you know churning in this area despite a decent amount of volume it's not breaking out it hasn't been able to break out yet just kind of drawing an approximate trend line there. Uh, and you can see on the level two, stacked up on the ask, it feels like, um, you know, it just, it feels like maybe a little bit of a trap. So, uh, I don't know. So I'm not super, you know, I think it's a B quality setup being that it's a dead cat bounce. Um, and I don't think this is the market to take the risk on a B quality setup. You know, look at that one candle right there, you know, just that big red candle. So that one I'm not feeling uh, confident on. ADN, uh, the third leading gapper, really the second that possibly tradable, 34 million share float is a little higher. Uh, and it's a little extended, you know, up here. It broke out, but it only broke out by 20 cents. And remember, you're never gonna capture the full breakout from the from the very, you know, perfect entry to the perfect exit so if that was really a 20 cent breakout through the highs maybe you would have captured eight or ten cents right you know eight or ten cents it's not a lot per share and you probably would have been risking eight to ten cents to get in it
unfortunately had a good day on Friday. I'm grateful for that, especially now as I'm looking at the market this morning. <sighs> You are? Okay, let's just take this one off and see if that feels better. One, two, three. That feels good. But I have to be on the yard. Okay. That's to make me cold. I have to go on the sand. Where's the sand? I can't reach that sand. So thank you guys as always uh, on YouTube who are tuned in. Reminder, in case I haven't already said it today, trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money, so I don't want you to think that there's uh, a guarantee that you'll be successful because there is not. Whether you learn from me or trade on your own, this is a risky business, so take it slow. There's my disclaimer. Well, if you want a guarantee to make money, I can give you a guarantee. You can go put your money into bonds and you will get 3% guaranteed. That's your guarantee. Now the problem is, obviously, in order to make a living off of 3%, you know, you put a million dollars away, 3% is only 30,000 a year, right? 3% a year can't live off of it so you've got to put your money to work in a in a way that's a bit more that it just it, it's risk and reward that's the analysis So into the open, Marcella. Yeah, uh, we did an interview. It's added to the, I think it's chapter seventeen. Uh, interviews that I've done with profitable traders. Yep, so that was the latest one. And I have one with Nick that I think I'll do this week. So we've got another one coming soon. No, um, and I'm, I'm happy to do them with anyone that has a profitability badge, but um, we have a, a release that they have to sign and not everyone's comfortable signing that. So, you know, and that's fine. But, you know, if we're gonna do the interview and then make it available for people, we have to make sure that folks are okay with that and understand that, so. But anyone that has a profitability badge is welcome to I'm, I'm happy to do interviews with.
<clears throat> okay, so we've got about four minutes to the open. So those who have been tuned in over on YouTube, thank you guys for being here. Slow morning, but you know, that's the way it is here uh, today. So nothing we can do but trade the market we're in and the market that we're in right now is not giving too many opportunities for small cap traders, which is my focus. Of course, those interested in large caps, you can jump over to the large cap room as you'd like. But um, yeah, just taking it slow right now not interested in uh, overstaying my welcome so I will be um, back at it on YouTube first thing tomorrow morning uh, I don't know if I'll do a recap for a no trade day probably not but um, I don't know anyways um, we'll we'll see where we finish uh, the day before I decide all right so thank you guys for tuning in on YouTube and we'll be back at it uh, tomorrow morning